The story of Lazarus is our story. The Lord says to all of us, come to me. Today, the catechumens take the last liturgical steps before their baptism at the Easter Vigil. They've prepared themselves for a new life with Christ in the church, and the church is preparing itself to welcome them and renew our own baptismal commitment. The raising of Lazarus is a reminder that to be a Christian is not just to live in a certain way. Christians do have customs and commands that we obey and disobey, the chief among them being to love God and all those whom God loves. But the Christian life is not based upon those laws or defined by them. Those laws are based upon something else that we are called to reflect upon today. We love God because God loves us. Our love is a response. That's the reason that the mission of the church is to show others the love of God. Only when they've experienced God's love can they come to love God themselves. God's love is not limited in any way. I can sin and God forgives me saying, come to me. I can wander off and God goes with me saying, come to me. I can suffer and God suffers with me saying, come to me. I can die and God who died with me in Christ says, come to me. We started Lent with the Ash Wednesday reminder Remember, you are dust, and to dust you will return. Death is the most powerful force we know. It comes to all and puts an end to all. It makes a mockery of our plans, our achievements, and even our virtues and good deeds. They will not survive. But in Christ, we will. St. Paul tells us that if for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are, of all people, most to be pitied. We're dust. But remember, though dust is our end, it is also the material of life-giving creation. In John's Gospel, the raising of Lazarus is the seventh of the signs, starting with the wedding feast at Cana, that Jesus gives to show who he is. Seven is a biblical number for wholeness, since God's creation of the world reached its fulfillment on the seventh day. The fulfillment of Jesus' mission is found in the raising of the dead. That is really what the Lord is all about. I am the resurrection and the life, says Jesus to Martha and to us. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? When we make or renew our baptismal commitment, we are asked the same question. Do you believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? What is my answer? I say I do, but is that merely a gesture on my part? Do I really live as if I were convinced that nothing, not even death, need terrify me with the threat of abandonment by God? Am I convinced that death fearsome though it be, is a sleep for one who has been baptized into the life of the risen Lord? We will soon celebrate the resurrection of Christ. That is our joy and our hope. Today, before we're overwhelmed with that celebration, we recall that his resurrection involves us as well. Just as Lazarus was called from the tomb, we know that in some way or other, we too will be called by the Lord to new life. All we know about Lazarus is that his sisters loved him and that he had friends. One of those friends was Jesus. In our baptism, I accept the Lord's offer to be that kind of loving friend to me. He will do for me what he did for Lazarus. I will return to dust but I believe that one day I will be called, come to me.